Greetings and salutations, I'm Kev. Welcome back to this Let's Play of Zenwire's Colonization. And we've cleared one village. And... Yeah, how did we want to distribute the villages up here? I kind of don't remember. I'm not going to experiment with that just yet. I mean, we do have the pair, some pairs ready to go, but... I think we want to test first if we can get these natives to kind of like us again. Uh, the alarm isn't high. It's just a green bar, right? But we know that they're pissed as hell, so... That, yeah, I think they're gonna kill our missionary there. At the very least. I'd be surprised if they didn't attack him. They didn't attack us there. So that means they didn't attack the missionary either. Really? That's unexpected. Pleasant surprise, to be sure, but still... Unexpected. And the French have kind of shot themselves in the foot with this settlement, at least in my opinion. Uh, but Vigo has no tools. So that we can fix. Okay, new warehouse. Lovely. What are we gonna need in here? Uh, and ironworks is tempting. I think I'm gonna go with the church. Just so we have it. Another population growth here. Nobody is currently in training. Uh, we're gonna train a fisherman, I think. Actually, no. We're gonna train a uh, carpenter. Soon enough we're gonna need more people, so... More, uh, carpenter teams. Speaking of, here's another carpenter team, and you've managed to get... <laughs> all of them in completely wrong... directions here. Um, yeah, you're gonna go out to the... to the open, we're gonna put the lumberjack back... where he's supposed to be. Same with you. Get up there. There we go. I might as well have sent you directly to Europe, but uh, heck, I might even actually have, actually have to do that because there's so many goods available here now. Uh, now they usually want tobacco. They usually want cigars. I don't know what else they possibly want, but we're gonna see if we can find something to trade to the poor natives. Hmm, yeah, just set sail for Europe. You sit tight. Now they wanted tools first, so... Just park the wagon train there for now. Do I want to load half cargoes? Uh, actually, no, we're not going to do that. I'm just going just gonna to deal with the full cargoes. And again, tools, trade goods, rum. Okay. Just gonna fortify there, I think. Try to keep that square safe. You're going up to receive for tools. Just stay nearby, please. Oh, I was supposed to educate you, one, one I? Okay, um, that seems to be the only place I could put you right now. And we were educating our carpenter up there, so we're gonna need a lumberjack down here. Oh, 
onwards to Bahia with you. Down to Blissingen with... Not Blissingen, even further south. And yeah, uh, I could now start building new settlements. We wanted one settlement here. We know that. And I assume... Let's see now. Was it there we wanted the settlement? If I do that, that means we can't really exploit these two squares here. Because then we need a settlement here. Which would mean we couldn't really exploit <laughs> the rivers and stuff over here. Gah! Or I could settle right on top of there, but that would be an overlap in the square. And then there's the food stuffs up here, which is also good. I'm sorry to say that there are just too many good squares in this area. Um, city there would mean a square overlap, otherwise I'll put it right on top of that. And then are all the rivers and stuff up here, which are nice. And it's not not just the rivers, because you have these. The lake squares, but you also get the major rivers. Since you have river mouth, and that means even more food. So we have lots and lots of nice lots of nice city spots. It's just a matter of how to do this <laughs> most efficient, in the most efficient manner. Um, and because some of my cities aren't completely uh, evenly spaced here, there's gonna be some uh, some degree of waste, especially in terms of special resources. I don't I don't like settling on top of a special resource, but it looks like that's gonna be a decent spot. The problem is I don't have an spare artillery. Not that I think I'll need it. Okay, wake him up. Send him out. I think it's time to settle new places. Two of you are going to Panam the Paramaribo. And you would just said no to that village. Uh, Paramaribo could sustain one. Yeah. Just gonna evict the sugar planter for a brief moment of time. If you would, please, come on. There we go. And I'm gonna send you up then to the new colony. They're gonna need food. Lots of food. And let's see, there aren't any other squares here that we're gonna improve. Or there. So I'll send you down towards the new colony, I suppose. Um, it's gonna be a nice little farming community up here. And I think we're gonna send the artillery. And I don't think New Amsterdam is gonna be under attack, so I'm gonna send the artillery there to Fort Orange, or Fort Nassau. That seems fine. A privateer. We can start on the newspaper, please. Because we need to get this number down. We need to fit more colonists here. And there's Fugger. Of course, he doesn't do anything for us whatsoever. Uh, so that's fine. I just wanted him out of the picture. Uh, and again, no. Fine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna plow through all of them then. On the bit. Don't really need him, but sure. 
New Holland, gain a set a new guy. Um, okay, train a fisherman. Still that problem there. Come on, get those. Oh, no tools in Fort Orange either. Right, that's worse. Back to Europe with you. Let's see, you're gonna wait because we need the other wagon train. Now at least they, those guys are alarmed. Um, <laughs> so are they. Which is what we expect would happen. You're gonna wait there for a second. We need to deposit these two guys first before we can send you south. You are gonna load up with tools. Trade. And we're gonna give them as gifts. I just wanna see if that placates them faster. Tobacco and trade goods, even cotton. Um, nothing right now, thank you. Ooh, privateer. And we lost, of course. Grumble. You're out of tools, you need tools. Where the heck can we find tools? Tools which every single colony needs at this point. And the only cargo that is fully ready is the one at Curacao. Oh well. Okay, I'm gonna find a city up there. Um, it's gonna be a bit of a waste, I know. I'm gonna lose these two nice river squares. At least we won't get a square overlap here with the future colony. So, yeah. St. Martin, the landlocked colony. <laughs> so, what are we gonna cultivate here? Uh, this looks very much like a cotton place. I'm probably gonna need one of the minor rivers there just to generate enough. Timber. Oh right, we can generate more food there, right? Yes. Get a lumber mill going. Uh, with a road you'll generate 12 timber, I think, so that's gonna be just enough to keep the carpenter going. And that's gonna be okay. You finished that square, that's good. There are no other squares in the north. There is the square beneath. Curacao was okay, right? It was all the way down here, right? But in Maribu, yes, that one needed improvement, which is fine. Uh, you guys hide in Paramaribo, please. I'll take our chances at another mission. Still curious, that's good. So they're not pissed. Uh, Fort Orange finished their education. You're gonna go up there. team. Needs another colony. Um, we did lack uh, those big guys in a few colonies, didn't we? Uh, yeah. Pernambuco and St. Martin both needs one of you guys. Head southward. Pernambuco definitely needs it just to get, just to make room for more colonies and uh, colonists. Okay, this town now needs tobacco. The Cherokee as a whole are now actually content. 
see, now they weigh half. Like, trade with the village. Uh, we're gonna trade you tobacco. And we're gonna give that as a gift. Tool trade goods to rum, that's fine. We're not gonna buy anything because we couldn't possibly make a profit out of it. You were headed up to Bahia so we could get some tool industry there. Come on. Oops. Ah. Fast piece slide and annoyance. Grr. Okay, you can generate a little bit of ore. And we can get a little bit of tools. And hopefully we'll have less micromanagement on that account. You're gonna sell it towards Ponabuco. Both of you guys are coming here to become fishermen. Okay, so it seems to be possible to just torch a village, then uh, placate them as best as possible, then torch more missions. <laughs> uh. You guys need to just generate bells to even up the situation here as fast as possible. Oh, that would mean starvation. That's not good. Like so. Uh, I think we're gonna have to do something about uh, the uh, other two cities as well. It looks like we've placated the tribe, but we might have to placate the other two villages. I don't know. Let's send scouts to either ones and see. See what they say. And we offer food because we're so kind. The French have so many ships in the area. Including some rather pesky privateers. goods. Can we afford artillery? We cannot. Okay, no colonists. Really are shy on tools. Um, quite annoying. Um. Uh, I think we're gonna go with the stables. Now you need tools as well, but you're at least making a few tools. You have a spare fisherman. Okay, up here you actually need farmers. Finally, with some extra blacksmiths. So we're gonna have three blacksmiths here, and you're gonna go to the other colony in the north there. The Recif, was it? That at least should start chewing through all of our tools. And we're definitely going to get an ironworks going here. <laughs> as soon as the fort is done. Uh, nothing I can do about that one. The team in New Amsterdam are done. Oh, well, we are making a cathedral, so... Might as well keep him around here, I suppose. If need be, we're just gonna create more food here. Instead of the cotton, which is dirt cheap at this point. Mm, I'm gonna wait with the wagon trains. Ninety-nine. Ugh. That was an annoying cargo. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Uh, fine, set sail. Now the other towns are now suddenly more calm. Happily, yeah, okay. Rum cloth cigars.
Hmm, rum cloth cigars. Uh, well, we have one cargo with cigars here, I suppose. But they did wave happily. Let's send you in there. And they're also waving happily. Rum tool cigars. So... They might actually be ready for uh, strike two. Ah, uh, you need to keep working on the bells here. I sent you up to it for education, didn't I? Whoops, forgot about that. Uh, da -da -da -da, clear education, clear specialties. Could have done that last time, spared ourselves one turn. The sad thing is that once we got all the... Uh, the entirety of the uh, Congress, the bells aren't going to be much of value anymore. I'm generating so many of them. Uh. Still, I could shuffle around the uh, units. Do I want to start attacking now? I assume that they are as happy as can be at this point. They shouldn't be able to attack anyone except the scout down there. Of course, the village is going to be eradicated before then. Um. <laughs> um, we're going to save again. I'm going to see. I assume that now they've already become so placant that they won't attack me. Just want to verify that. Waving happily. Uh, you're gonna wait. I'm gonna wait, 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 wait. I need the... There we go. The guys who need training. Come on, burn it before they become upset. You just wait, please. That's the end of that village. Um, you can't attack any of these people. There's a chance, I suppose, that a warrior will be generated out here. We could attack the scout, so let's protect that one. As for the troops, moving them to Rissingen next. So now we're gonna do the same thing again. We're gonna go and give them gifts. Until they like us. And then we're gonna burn their towns again. Because we're nice like that. And let's see, at least two people can go here. I can replace you and the fisherman. Uh, that's actually gonna be a bit of a food reduction. That's okay, where the fisherman is gonna go south. No, 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 the sugar planter is gonna go south. Go south and found a colony out here. As for these converts... Where do I have room for you? Okay, receive. 
should be able to make it there before you revert. Lovely. But of course now they are pissed at us again, but that's okay. Only the straight line face. So we're now just gonna shower them with gifts again, reset it. Technically, it's a, it's, this is a bit expensive. Um, cost and yeah, what we're doing here, we're giving them one or two cargoes of goods. That's something like, I don't know, 1500, 1800 gold. So that's the equivalent of three ore miners purchased on the docks in Europe. But we get something like four or five converts and we get the missionary back. So, I don't know. It's a bit of a trade-off, but I think it's actually in our favor to do this. We just get the maximum amount of converts. Even though we have to give them gifts to just speed up the process of them not hating our guts. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that experiment is done. I think it's time for another short break and we will continue uh, slowly continuing the uh, trade of tears. Mixing, yeah. Bit of, bit of, bit of whip, bit of, bit of carrot. <laughs> We're gonna get the land eventually. For now, though, time for a break. Thank you for watching. <laughs>